Hey and welcome back. So in today's video I am going to be doing a review for the GoPro Hero 11 Black when filming with it underwater. I've had the Hero 11 for over a month now and I've taken it snorkeling and freediving a couple of times. All of the footage that is being shown on the screen right now is all taken with the Hero 11 Black and color graded in DaVinci Resolve. My very first opinion after using the Hero 11 was that it felt like a massive upgrade over the Hero 10 and this was more because I had some troubles when I was using the Hero 10. There were a lot of bugs and also I had some problem with the battery life with the Hero 10 where it would kind of shut down whilst I was filming on the water. But with the Hero 11 I didn't have a single problem with that. I could record in 5k constantly and I never had a problem of the camera shutting down by itself and also the battery life felt a lot better with the Hero 11. The batteries that came with my Hero 11 were the white weather resistant batteries which I'll put up on the screen right now. The battery life with these batteries felt significantly better than the older ones so I definitely recommend switching to these even if you still own the Hero 10. I tested out the settings for a little bit and these are the settings that I kind of ended up with which I felt was best for most situations. The 10 bit colour is actually new to the Hero 11 and it captures more detail in the colours so it makes it a lot easier to colour grade the footage and it also gives you a lot more flexibility when colour grading so I think this is one of the biggest upgrades when you're using the Hero 11 over the other GoPro models. I'm also working on a new underwater colour grading tutorial as there's been up some updates to the DaVinci Resolve software and also because the Hero 11 footage is a lot easier to grade compared to the other GoPros so I'll put up a tutorial of that on next week so make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you know when it's up. The reason why I decided to use 5k and 60 frames is because I wanted the option to be able to switch the video to slow motion if I needed. So this video was recorded in 60 frames originally but I switched it down to 24 frames so that I can get this slow motion effect. If you record in 5k 30 frames this isn't possible and that's why I'd recommend filming most of your footage in 5k 60. If you want super slow motion footage then I would change it to 4k 120. And I would lower the resolution down to maybe 1080 or 4K if I was running out of SD card space or if my computer couldn't handle the 5K footage. So when I was shooting these videos I didn't use a housing or a filter for the Hero 11. I usually use either the handler or the 3-way mount when I'm snorkeling with the GoPro but this time I forgot so I was just using the small tripod from the travel kit. The Hero 11 is waterproof up to 10 meters, so I personally don't use the housing case but I think I would recommend getting a housing for most people as it definitely makes it easy for the GoPro to break with some small accidents if you don't have the housing on. Overall I think there's been a lot of improvements made over the Hero 10. So if you're stuck on which GoPro to get right now, I would definitely go for the Hero 11 over the Hero 10. I don't even think the prices are that different between the two, so definitely go for the 11 as I feel it's significantly better than the Hero 10. And if you have any questions about the Hero 11 or, or filming underwater with the GoPro in general, then please let me know in the comments section below. I'd be happy to answer any questions. I'm going to roll out this video with some of the favourite clips that I filmed from my recent trip to Miyakojima Islands. All of the footage that I have on this video is shot with the Hero 11. And also one more thing that I wanted to mention is the clips that I'm going to roll on the screen right now are going to look very clear and high clarity. And this is partly due to the Hero 11 but more importantly I went when the conditions were very good and the clarity of the water is very far. So you're not going to get footage like this if you go on like a rainy day or overcast day. So. The Hero 11 is a good improvement over the Hero 10 but the best improvement you can make to your underwater footage is choosing the right conditions to go and film. 
And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.